Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the natural frequency of a 3D truss structure by using the Python code and then compare the result with uh, the one from SAP 2000. So uh, first, if you haven't watched my previous video, please uh, do so uh, in order to understand uh, uh, how to write a Python code uh, to do the structure analysis but, uh, and uh, we are using the direct stimulus analysis method so uh, I leave the link in the description so don't forget to check it out and uh, before we start please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button and uh, if you like this video please put the thumb up as well so uh, in this video, I uh, want to show you uh, this book, uh, which is a good book for the finite, finite element method that you, uh, you can uh, use to do the structural analysis. And uh, this is the 3D trust uh, structure that I'm going to uh, use as an example in this video so i will uh, run the structural analysis and i will run the uh, only the nodal uh, analysis and uh, we can see here we have the period and also the natural frequency of the 3d truss structure and this is the value so i will comp uh, i will find the natural frequency by using the python code and uh, also the finite finite element method so this is the the code in my previous video you can uh, check them out to see how i i uh, write this code and uh, we have some input here so we have the node uh, coordinates the bar connectivity the young modulus the material density loads and also the support location and this is the cross-sectional area of each member so uh, i create a class called trust and this class perform the structure can be performed the structural analysis so uh, the important part of uh, the structural analysis here uh, we, we need to uh, form the uh, the stiffness matrix and the mass matrix of the 3d truss structure so uh, in order to form the stiffness and mass matrix we can look at this book and i want to show you something here so uh, in order to form the stiffness matrix you need the transformation vector and the uh, uh, stiffness matrix of each uh, element so uh, the transformer uh, transformation vector sorry uh, the transformation uh, matrix here is different uh, from uh, my previous video because now we, we do the uh, structure analysis for the 3D truss so uh, we, we can form the transformation uh, matrix by using the formula here so we need to compute uh, for the that lambda which has the matrix uh, which has the uh, side three by three and uh, we can look at the information here we need to compute the parameter c and if you go to the next page we can uh, see that the the uh, the value that we need to compute is a uh, cosine uh, data and this is the uh, value that we need to compute and this is the 
the the value that we need in order to form the lambda matrix so uh, we need l m n and the parameter d and the parameter d equaling to uh, we can compute by using this equ equation now uh, if we look at my code here i already uh, uh, formed the transformation uh, matrix so we have the x y and uh, z uh, which represent the value l m n and uh, we can compute by using this uh, equation and in this code i take the value from the array c that uh, i already compute uh, for at uh, this line and uh, for the value p it is the uh, parameter d here and uh, next we can form the the small matrix inside the transform transformation transformation uh, matrix so the matrix 3 by 3 here is the lambda matrix so we have x y and z and then uh, we can continue to the next line and the next line so after we compute this we can uh, put the lambda matrix inside the uh, t matrix and my t matrix here is only six by six because uh, this is for 3d truss structure we don't have the rotation uh, degree of freedom but in other case that where you want to compute for the rotation uh, you, you need to add some more row or column so uh, now we have the transformation matrix we can uh, find the uh, stiffness uh, matrix of each member so um, we can use this uh, formula so we have the young modulus section length and might multiply by this uh, matrix and this is the uh, mass matrix for each uh, member you can also look uh, look into this book how to uh, form the mass matrix but uh, actually everything is the same as the uh, uh, stiffness matrix we just only need to uh, change a little bit uh, change the parameter a little bit so first we need the material density and we convert it into the uh, the mass uh, for each member so uh, i divide the the density to uh, by the uh, gravitational acceleration and change the uh, unit here because the the input here i i use the um uh pound pound for uh, per a cubic inch so i convert this to uh, uh keeps for per uh, cubic inch and uh, in this case i will i use the uh, lamb mass uh, matrix so uh, this is the uh, value for the lamb mass matrix for each uh, member and uh, keep in mind that the sub 2000 here they use the lamb mass matrix so uh, i will use the same uh, method here in order to uh, find uh, get the final answer which uh, can be comparable to the sub 2000 so after we we got the mass matrix for each member we can form the global stiffness matrix and also the global uh, uh, mass matrix of the 3d truss structure and everything here is the same in my previous previous video 
so uh, now what we have to do is to find the natural frequency and uh, we can use this uh, uh, formula so the omega equal to the inverse matrix of the um, uh, mass matrix multiplied by the stiffness uh, matrix and uh, we can get the value uh, omega uh, square omega and then we can compute for the ohm, uh, value omega and finally we can find the natural frequency of the, uh, the structure by divide the omega uh, by 2 pi and we need to arrange the value from the smallest to the largest also so this is how you do the uh, dynamics analysis and uh, we can find the natural uh, uh, frequency so now we run this code so the final line here is uh, for the uh, result that I want to print uh, on the console here so we got uh, the value uh, as an array here so the first one is uh, the smallest one which I call to uh, 58 point uh, 99 and we can compare with the value here it, it's uh, the same and you can also uh, show more result of uh, the uh, natural frequency in sub 2000 also so uh, I will check this uh, box and okay so uh, this is the result and uh, you can check the natural frequency here so the second one will be uh, uh, 62.43 and uh, we can check the result uh, here it's uh, the same so uh, this is how you do the uh, uh, natural frequency how you find the natural frequency of 3d thrust structure uh, by using the Python code and uh, using the final element method uh, for the 3D trust. So again, the important part here is to form the uh, stiffness matrix and also the mass matrix of the uh, trust structure. And uh, for the 3D trust structure, we need to use a specific um, transformation vector as uh, indicated here and uh, you can uh, read this book to find more information about this so uh, that's it for this video and I hope you get the idea and I can apply into your own project so thank you so much for uh, watching I'll see you guys in my next video